Coming up on this review, I compare and contrast 2003's Biker Boys and 2004's film Torque as far as how they compare to each other and if they're worthy motorcycle based films related to Fast and the Furious. It's headphones nailed! What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host as always, Headphones Neil. So I've been meaning to rewatch these films after my recent rewatch of the Fast and the Furious franchise just because I had a generally okay memory of the films as far as Biker Boys and Torque go, but I never really found them to be particular any particular movies that stood out to me and that's kind of evident as far as no sequels being made, no further films. Um, of note that were made in the universe so we didn't get like a Biker Boys 2 or a Biker Boys Origins or even the same thing with like with Torque like Torque 2 or um, Torque Further or something like that so for me watching these films now in general they had this they didn't really have any change in effect but I was able to kind of better define why I thought they were okay films but could have been better so as far as the original um, of the two films, or the first of the two films, Biker Boys Go, it's a, I found it to be a good film as far as the development between biker gangs coming of age as far as a young uh, motorcycle rider goes. There was a lot of stuff about family, but as far as the plot goes, I didn't find that Lawrence Fishburne learning about how Kid was his actual child versus Wills did anything to improve the story any further. I, to me, they could have left that as his um, best friend Will died in a motorcycle accident, and so now his son Kid went off on his own to and basically became a good motorcycle rider and ultimately defeats Lawrence Fisher because he lost his heart as a motorcycle rider or um, he's lost his way and he doesn't have that same drive that he used to because his friend is no longer with him. So in general the film worked for me until that point and it took a slightly different turn that didn't need to be taken. And to me that's kind of a trope that didn't really need to be done. It's like, okay, you know, all the all his life Lawrence Fishburne has kind of known about this guy of Will's son and nothing's come up and then oh, as it turns out, this guy his his son, not his friend's son. So for me that was extra tension that didn't need to be done. And it would have been a better film to me if Kid had defeated Lawrence Fishburne on his own merits um, because he's a better motorcycle rider and not beca and because Lawrence Fishburne lost his heart from his friend dying and not because Kid is his actual son and um, he's now reminiscing that he wants to let him come of age on his own terms and not have to continually worry if he's good enough to beat Lawrence, Fishbur Lawrence Fishburne's character. So if I was to grade it, I kind of want to give it a grade of a C just because there was some motorcycle stuff, but not really. They had racing and they spent a little bit of time in with um, the whole idea behind Nas. Um, but that's really about it. It was more about family and biker gang struggles than anything else. So as far as that goes, that was actually the, the upside for me was that um, we did get a little bit of, we got more background as far as motorcycle and racing culture goes, the interactions between the various gangs, the personal relationships that the various gangs have that they are not necessarily at strife with each other and there is a certain level of respect if a gang is recognized and they have a certain history between the gang bike gang leaders so that was actually a huge plus for me but it was a whole well the, not really as much on the motorcycle racing and then the whole trope of the fought the main the pivotal character in the film being one person's son versus another so that kind of took it away from me so that's kind of why i give the a grade of a c to the film 
Now, when it comes to the movie Tor, it feels like they wanted to go a bit on the more Fast and the Furious side, so we have a lot more motorcycle racing. Um, less about, still very little about actual motorcycle racing and tuning up and stuff like that. Um, we do have different motorcycle gangs, um, mainly with our main protagonist in the film. But um, we do, but it's more on the drugs side of it than the motorcycle racing again. So, whereas Biker Boys was on all about family, Torque is more about drugs and the wrong, a wrong guy being convicted for a crime. So it's kind of like they took the Fast and the Furious's um, racing scenes and imagery and stuff like that, and then at mixed in the story behind Too Fast, Too Furious. And then when you replace cars with motorcycles, you would get the film torque. So in general, I like the uh, the idea, the presentation of the visuals of the film and the story about the the guy and the wrong guy being covered for the drugs, the whole switch up and stuff like that, that he, the good guy is trying to pull to put the bad guy behind bars. Um, but in general, it feels like they were taking bits and pieces from from Fast and the Furious and not really thinking as far as um, the motorcycle racing scene, fixing up and like garaging, like the whole hiding behind garages and stuff like that. So it feels like they should have also included a lot more stuff as far as what Biker Boys did in their film, but then introduced or added the Fast and the Furious and Too Fast, Too Furious to it. Um, there was a little bit as far as the protagonist's um, previous love life and then his friends as far as their crew goes. And we're kind of dropped into it as far as assuming that we know ev what's going on with everybody. but And kind of minimal setup as far as all of that goes. But I didn't find that it was enough to make it worth it like for enough for us to the audience to care about what was going on with the with the, all of these different characters so um same thing here if i probably graded a little bit higher than biker boys just because i like the visual presentation of it but not by much so where i gave whereas i gave biker boys a grade of a c i probably give torque about a b plus or sorry c plus so and a c for biker boys so they're really close together because they they each do good things well individually but beyond that they don't do anything overall well so that's kind of what fast and the furious kind of grew beyond with their um individual film so the fast and the furious was all about the racing scene they added their whole drug scene with too fast and furious they moved to tokyo um for more racing like a different racing scene and then they moved all the way into um, international um, villains and criminals and they expanded the universe a lot so it feels like Torque and Biker Boys are kind of trying to keep to the um, home racing scene and kind of down to earth underground version of things but there's real, very little preamble and setup to get us there so that's kind of why it feels like they didn't they weren't able to make any um, particular sequels of note so for me if i was to recommend them it's kind of hard to recommend them um to say that yes yeah if you have to go out and watch them but if you are into more of the motorcycle racing scene versus car racing then um i would say watch them but if you're more into the franchise then fast and the furious does a better job of it um and for me, thinking back on the Fast and the Furious 1, the original film with uh, Johnny Tran and his motorcycles and all of that, I think it would have been a better thing to have a spin-off where we have the whole motorcycle racing. And you can call it Biker Boys or Torque or whatever his Johnny Tran's crew was called and put it all on motorcycles. Either as a prequel or a sequel that because he's, you know, fallen out of favor in Southern California or wherever wherever Fast and the Furious took place. He's now moved into Nevada or someplace else where motorcycle racing is bigger and he's now started a motorcycle gang. So something along those lines where those lines where something like that would ha would work better and it would give us a character to care about because we know who Johnny Tran was, we've seen him in the Fast and the Furious and then they can now continue as far as maybe something like Torque where um, 
because he's fallen out of favor, Tor can be kind of the spiritual successor to the Fast and the Furious and his storyline there. And but then move it into motorcycles and now continue the story or his story there and maybe even do a continued franchise with him on motorcycles and living the motorcycle life rather than the car racing life. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback of your own, did you like or dislike these movies? Um, did you think they, Torque or Biker Boys was better or worse than the Fast and the Furious films or the franchise? Then you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is Headphones Nailed Our Reviews for all, all the past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.